Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 20th, 2021. Well, on Friday, Doug, on it, those bears were just a little bit on the feisty side, pushing the markets back down in a nasty little gap and stretch out on the day. Unfortunately, guys, we have another gap down forming this morning in the market that could be pretty damaging to a lot of folks, and particularly those who ran in with the buy the dip, um, you know, potential of a er, er, there's been just so much hype around a santa claus rally that a santa claus rally had to happen that it was going to happen there was just tremendous hype and i'm afraid that has probably damaged a lot of folks on a lot of accounts because santa claus doesn't always show up there's been many years over the course of my career where santa just didn't come around so this morning we're facing a gap down open that looks to be pretty damaging but what does that mean for the day well how about we settle in let's buckle up let's get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here i do truly appreciate it well doggone it um you know central bank activities kind of dampened the spirits on uh, the friday market and now we have this omicron variant that is really perking up and creating some pressure there are like the netherlands going into full lockdown and other places around europe running into trouble the variant seems to be spreading or doubling about every day and a half in europe and um, it's spreading rapidly here in the united states as well i guess it's already in um, the majority of u.s states so we have worries about how these impacts may affect the overall market and as you can see we're looking at a substantial gap lower here this morning now let's take a look at the technical picture of this chart um, clearly we have a, a failure here um, at resistance we've tried a couple of times to poke through that little resistance area and now I'm gonna to have to draw this out here like this as that potential lower high in the chart and you can see we've broken through levels of price support and we're stretching to the downside here this morning now the good news is is we have some pretty substantial price support right through this area now so far the diamonds has been able to avoid that look that we could test or even break that december low but i gotta tell you any rally back that would fail a lower high now would probably suggest that would be the case now unfortunately if we take a look at the technicals of the chart we failed the 50-day moving average on friday this morning we're gapping down to become very very close to that 200 day moving average but i gotta tell you once that market opens guys if those bears pile on remember risk off possible heading into the holidays so watch that carefully um, i could not rule out that possibility that we could catch some additional selling here and push us down through that 200 day moving average please keep in mind that that candle that i just showed you right here this is the pre-market candle okay so we're bouncing down we're trying to recover off of some overnight lows but i gotta tell you european markets are looking very bearish this morning um, asian markets closed closed extremely bearish overnight so we've got a lot of downside pressure here uh, showing itself so look for some volatility at the open if we take a look at the spy now here we also run that little bit of hope that the spy will hold this higher low that december 1st low won't be tested so you'll want to watch that carefully um, certainly not a bullish looking chart here this morning and unfortunately we now have these multiple failures and that rejection up here creating a problem with us being so close to testing this level of price support i would suggest that's likely going to occur and not only 
that, that possibility that the SPY could join those ranks of making a lower low in the market. And that would probably dampen that bullish spirit here just a little bit and make those bears um, increasingly uh, aggressive. So not a good looking uh, picture here so far. Now there is still that possibility that we bounce, we hold this support. We find some good news in here. We shake off this uh, this new variant and say, no, we're not gonna worry about it. And we bounce up off of there. That would create that little double bottom type pattern. Uh, the problem with that is guys, I just don't think there's going to be um, as much bullish energy to buy this uh, dip um, after being punished multiple times here recently for buying the dip. And I suspect heading into the holiday, we'll see those volumes decline pretty sharply. And that just may be kind of the end of, of this move up, particularly if we make that, that new low in the chart. If we take a look at the Qs now, doggone it, the Qs failing their 50-day moving average, as you can see here on Friday, closing down below their 50-day. We fought really hard. Those bulls really tried to come back up, but not doing it. And this morning, unfortunately, guys, we are going to officially make a lower low. So we rejected this resistance in here and now we are officially making a lower low at the open on the day now that doesn't mean it has to stay down there we could rally back but unfortunately when we have fairly substantial price resistance in a chart and then we have a 50-day moving average above that can create a pretty substantial obstacle for rallying back. I'm not going to rule it out, but that possibility that we rally back and we create that lower high and we continue to see some selling in the chart. So watch carefully here um, if those bears start to pile on, because if they do pile on, you can see we could have some substantial selling. If we don't hold right in this area, well, we could pull back into here pretty easily. That's around 368 in the QQQ. That would be a pretty painful sell-off. Let's take a look at our Russell. Now, unfortunately, the IWM, uh, also failed its 50-day also has had failed its 50-day at resistance here in the chart as you can see so we have that resistance and downtrend in play here and now unfortunately we may set a lower low this morning now already this morning we're trying to bounce this in the pre-market off of those lows but remember oftentimes if we get some pylon selling that could be a problem and what we want to watch for carefully here is if we lose this price support there really is no major price support underneath this area so if we were to drop in here that could really pull hard on that market so a little bit of uncomfortableness here this morning and a little bit of bearishness showing up that might be pretty punishing to those who are really hopeful for the santa claus rally let's take a look at our vix now our vix as you can see our vix um, has continued to bounce around in here. We ran that possibility that we could break that support in here. And we tried, we tried to break that little uptrend. Unfortunately, this morning, um, we're likely to see um, the VIX spiking higher here at the open. Still holding above those 20 handles. And if you guys remember, that's a pretty significant level in the chart. Now, if we bounce up here, we could find resistance up in this area right in here. We could find some of that price resistance and see those bulls really work hard to defend. But right now we're starting to uh, maybe lose a little bit of that bullish hope and that may make it difficult for them to push on through. Remember, we got the central bank tightening. We've got um, uh, lockdown starting to occur. The spread um, turning into kind of some nastiness. So watch carefully here. Let's take a quick look at our T2122. Now our T2122 guys is a, this is the four week new high, new low ratio. And we saw just enough 
in the bounce around, uh, bounce back um, on Friday that we lifted out of this bearish reversal zone. At one point in the day, we were down here in this, uh, excuse me, bullish reversal zone. And um, we lifted up out of there. So that means the gap down this morning did have some room to go and we're pushing down. I'm guessing we're going to be down here in this bullish reversal zone. So that would be that place of hope. But doggone it, we have holidays um, right around the corner. Will we have enough energy to lift ourselves up out of there? Um, that's or will we actually see more bears piling on to just eliminate the risk and just call it a year and um, leave for their holiday plans and that certainly is possible so keep in mind we can bounce down into here and we can stay down here for a little bit of time notice we did that recently here so watch that carefully um, if we do find that bullish energy, however, and let, there's earnings and things that could provide us with some energy and maybe who knows, we get some surprise news um, that could give us that energy and we could push back up here in the chart. I would say once we're down here in this bullish reversal zone, we look for that bounce to occur in the market. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now, unfortunately, guys, this is not a bullish chart in any way, shape, or form. And I continue to mention this. We continue to set lower lows um, in these um, stocks uh, on their 200-day moving average. So this is the percentage of stocks that are holding above the 200-day. At the close of Friday, we were weakening again. We're down here. 35% of our stocks holding above the 200-day moving average. And I got to tell you, with the gap down this morning, it is entirely possible this makes a new low. So watch that carefully. T2108 is also not a bullish chart. And these are, I, I got to tell you, these are one of the things that has kept me on the hedge side, on the bearish side of the market. I will be making some pretty good money today with bear call credit spreads and straight up puts um, this morning. And it's been these internal charts that have been showing me um, that possibility. And as you can see, we run that risk that we could make a new low here um, in T2108, and that's the number of stocks holding above their 40-day. And as you can see, by the close of Friday, 22% of our stocks holding above the 40-day moving average. So that's a big portion of the market heading lower, providing some weight. So watch carefully um, in this market. And then if we take a look at T2101, well, I've mentioned many times before that this break of this um, wedging pattern, if we were to hold up here and hold support and we see some um, selling wave coming in, that this could spike us up and that could be the beginning of those lower lows in the market and that possible correction that may be on the way here. So watch carefully here today. Just make sure you're protecting yourself. And remember, it's a shortened holiday weekend, week. Um, and for the next couple of weeks, we're likely to see choppy, very low volume. So kind of keep that in mind and plan your risk accordingly. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar is pretty darn boring today. Not much going on here. We've got some leading indicator numbers coming out that nobody cares about. And then we've got um, the bond or some bond um, auctions, short term bond auctions. Um, notice that Tuesday, another very light day in the market. Now, unfortunately, we have an interesting day here on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday, we're going to have a GDP number. That definitely could move the market in this consumer confidence, existing home sales, and petroleum status all have that potential to move the market around on Wednesday morning. But then we're going to really be sliding in toward that holiday slowdown where volumes drop pretty quickly. Remember, everybody's going to be heading out for their holiday plans. And and then we're going to have a pretty big day here on Thursday. But I want to let you guys know that Thursday and Friday, 23rd and 24th, um, right way options and hit and run candlesticks will be closed. What that means is there will not be a video 
on Thursday morning or Friday. All right, there'll be no videos Thursday or Friday. And what you're going, uh, going to have to deal with is those durable goods orders. This could end up being a pretty volatile morning on Thursday, so be careful. Um, after we get through that data, look for the volume to just collapse. There won't be much of anything going on. Um, on Friday once we get through those data points. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look at um, our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have about 14 companies on the earnings calendar. A few of those are unconfirmed, but we do have some notables today that we'll wanna be paying attention to. Take a look at like CCL, Carnival Cruise will be, um, uh, excuse me, not CC, uh, Carnival Cruise, um, Consumer Six cyclical sector uh, leisure as you can see carnival corp um, will be um, um, reporting today um, I am kind of wondering um, if there's going to be some selling even beyond what their earnings report says there may be a little bit of um, Omicron worry here creating some problems um, with the cruise line so watch that carefully take a look at um, MU MU will be reporting today notice it's been testing some resistance here in the chart trying to push on through that might be an interesting one for today. Also, we're going to hear from Nike. Keep an eye on that. Now, Nike has this bearish pattern in here. We call this a bearish M, that uh, bearish failure type pattern. So watch that carefully. If that earnings report is really good, that could help a lot. If it happens to disappoint, um, that bearish M may actually play on out. So watch carefully for that. Um, and then BLDE is the only other one I put on um, the chart today for a potential notable. Um, so watch those carefully. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up here for the day, guys. But before we do, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy, to be helpful, if you could also do me a favor, click that thumbs up button, leave that brief comment. It helps the channel to continue to grow. Like I said, guys, I will be, I will be, um, out of the office i will be closing down on the 23rd and 24th and i want to recommend to a lot of folks that you want to be really really careful unless you're an intraday trader that's just looking for that quick hit in and out of the market buying up stocks and things into this bearish move or um, pushing really hard in your trading this week may be ill-advised just simply because um, we're likely to see low volumes, very choppy price action. So just consider that carefully. So as I show you some of these stocks that might be setting up, please understand that um, you're going to have to be really, really careful um, with these charts. Now, that said, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and make sure that you're doing your own due diligence. You should never ever blindly follow someone else's trading ideas. Understand the risk and make sure they fit your trading plan. Well, first off, let's take a look. I've been mentioning CME as a possible, but doggone it, CME kind of dropped, uh, dropped here um, on Friday, um, failing this little pattern, whoops, that's a two-day chart, failing this little consolidation pattern here slightly. So watch that carefully. This is now one of the stocks that could go either way. If we could find that bullish reason, we could still make that pop and move through. And we've seen that recently a lot where we get a false head fake to one side and then completely reverse to the other. So watch that carefully if that were to occur here in CME. Take a look at that VALE. I've talked about this one a few times. That VALE is still in that potential upside move. You'll want to keep a close eye on that. 
looking pretty good overall if it can still hold that trend and support in the chart let's keep a, a look on that but i gotta tell you guys it may be time to start looking at some of those inverse etfs take a look at rwm now rwm and what i'm going to show you here is inverse etfs that are not heavily leveraged etfs they can be easier to hold take a look at this rwm and i'm going to put some moving averages on here notice this is the inverse of the russell and the russell will be breaking um, a little bit lower here this morning. So holding above that 50, holding above that 200 day, we're rounding this pattern to the upside. We've got that upside trend. It may be time to pick up a little bit of safety in some of these stocks. So watch that carefully, RWM. You might also want to start taking a look at um, some of the um, PSQ. PSQ is an inverse. It's a, um, not leveraged um, inverse on um, the NASDAQ. And you can see that's breaking above its 50-day moving average today and trying to move around. So you, um, we see that bearishness here in the QQQ. This might be that opportunity um, to pick up a little bit of hedge in the market. Other places you could look, guys, is start looking to some of these dividend payers. Take a look at um, stocks like um, CLX, Clorox, really boring stock, but I want you to notice we've been picking up, we're breaking these downtrends. These are defensive sector stocks where we're trying to find those bulls um, picking these up, looking for a little bit of safety, looking for some dividend yield. So keep an eye on that breaking downtrend, still holding above some support in the chart. This rest or pullback may set up opportunities. Food related stocks, take a look at Hormel. Oh my goodness, um, Hormel, extremely strong um, in the market. I think this needs a little consolidation or rest before it would be an entry, but those are picking up. Take a look at um, like Kroger. Now Kroger had a little bit of selling here on Friday, pulling back, but notice this has been holding in this upside trend, pushing to the upside. We're looking pretty good overall in this chart. If we can hold this support area in here, watch for that opportunity maybe to the upside here in Kroger. It may also be a good time with this Omicron coming up and um, looking at um, some of those stay at home stocks. Um, we've seen these before where Zoom Mobile responds pretty strongly um, if the possibility that we're gonna have more shutdowns or lockdowns. Um, take a look at that. Um, Chewy might come up off of this low. There may be a few things like that in that stay at home. I saw um, some gaming um, some gaming stocks trying to pick up off of the low here recently, um, trying to show just a little tiny bit of bullishness. Um, and those stay at home stocks like TTWO might be Take Two Interactive. This is a nice little bullish setup here um, in that chart. So look for some of those safety plays um, CPB, um, HSY. Take a look at utilities. Um, you might find whoops excellent. you might find some safety a little bit of security in some of these um, stocks take a look at uh, constellation brands um, holding up nicely things like mondelez um, these are very um, boring but relatively um, safe plays and I think what these big surges that we've seen in this has been one of those clues that suggested of potential selling and I think this is that institutional rotation they're selling off tech and they're picking up safety so watch that carefully guys we have some charts in here that could move up strongly still um, with people seeking that rotation or seeking a little bit more safety in those um, in the market here. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great, great results in your training. Be safe, guys. Be careful out there. And um, we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. I wish you all the best.